Today, I'm going to show you how to highlight a specific object or area in CapCut. It's really simple. First, bring your footage to the timeline. Then, duplicate the footage or bring the same footage again. Now, select the upper footage. Go to the Video Mask options and choose a mask shape, like a circle or rectangle. For this tutorial, let's use the circle. Position the mask properly over the object or area you want to highlight. There are two ways to create the highlight effect. You can either bring down the brightness of the original footage or increase the brightness of the duplicate footage. Let me show you both methods. First, with your duplicate footage selected, go to the adjustment curve. To increase the brightness, left click on the curve and drag it upwards. As you can see, this increases the brightness and highlights the selected area. Now, let's reset it and try the second method. Select the original footage instead. Again, go to the adjustment curve. To reduce the brightness, left click on the curve, hold and drag it down. You can see that the area around the mask gets darker, creating a highlight effect. You can also combine both methods for a stronger highlight effect. To smooth the edges of the mask, we can add some feathering. Go to the video mask options and adjust the feather slider. Set it to a value that looks good to you, like 1. This will soften the edges of the mask. Next, let's make the highlight follow the object throughout the video. Move the playhead to the first frame of your clip. Select the upper layer, go to the mask options and click on the button to create a new keyframe. Now, use the right arrow key on your keyboard to move frame by frame or hold the right arrow key to move several frames at once. Reposition and resize the mask as needed. Repeat this process until you've covered the entire duration of the video. And that's it. You've successfully highlighted an object or area in CapCut. Thank you for watching and have a great day.